Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Colorado State Rams and the Virginia Cavaliers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Cavaliers should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Walker handles the pass, working it around the perimeter. Richardson comes up with it. Great job of rotating back. Now they got numbers. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They move it into the front court. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And he'll kick it back outside. Now trying to feed the low block. The skip pass is picked off. The shooting guard with the ball. Leans in. He drains it. That's a 7-0 run. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Thinks about the shot. Dickerson receives the pass. Sinks the shot. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living the nightmare, Brad. High post player flashing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumps in. Richardson makes the finger roll. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Looking for a good shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in a deck. Where's he going? On the outside, Walker receives the ball. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gave it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. This should be an easy bucket. Manning handles the feed for the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> they work the perimeter. For two. Up. Easy one. <laughs> Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Picks off the pass. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Wide open for the shot. Trying to feed inside. The ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Four, 
showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The shooting guard takes the feed. Kicks it out. Pushing up basketball. Stolen away. Here they go into the break. Goes up for two. Colorado State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Richardson is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Puts it up. Great shot. Let's take another look. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There's a double team waiting there. They work it back to the outside. He dials long distance. It's good. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. There's the trap. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The shooting guard gets the ball. And now they'll bring it up. Unloads. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. High post flasher is open. Boy, terrible execution on offense. it in. Great anticipation defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The center gets the pass. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Throw out a fadeaway. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, Corey. They're, they are playing some great basketball at the moment. At the foul line. Makes the shot. Westbrook is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Drains it. He's got a high post flasher. And there's a lazy pass and stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the inside. And they get the turnover. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Trying to go inside. Here's a double team. Jumps into the defender. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Double team now, Matt Angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Makes the shot. High post flashes. Down inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The point guard takes the pass. He takes the shot. Buried it. On 
the dribble, gives it up. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, down here on the sideline, shock has set into the arena. The coaches, the teams, and the fans can't believe what's going on. All right, thanks, Aaron. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Got a man in high post. They look to get it to the inside. A little frustration right there. They go into the low block. Steals a pass. Working around the perimeter. He looks for three. Scorches the net. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to feed the low block. He goes for three. That's good. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Drops the bucket despite the harm. team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job he buries the shot good job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball high post screen so effective that screen they strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Not a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. From left of the circle, it sticks. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. And the slam. Got an open look if he wants it. That was nice. It around the arc. Picked off. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Intercepted. Pushes it up. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Kicks off the lazy pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. But he missed the shot. For two, Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that spacing. The chanting continues. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. Kicks it out. Controlling the ball. Pick. He shoots from the top of the key. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. On the dribble. Gives it up. Gave it up. Tempo of the game. Really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He takes the shot from the baseline. Sinks the shot. Take a look right here. in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play out there and you're fronting. Work 
it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Tries for two. In and out. Working it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. The shot from the baseline. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Two for one opportunity. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes. Picked out of the air. Top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. Good job defensively. Time to pick up the defense here now. At the half, the Cavaliers are trailing by six. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Virginia has allowed a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork. He doesn't move and beat him to the spot. There's a high screen. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Shooter spotting up on a three. For two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Moving it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Up 
fake. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's a 10 nothing run. And the great defense. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. They're working around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball, help one another. Communicate. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's a double team. And in and out. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He pump fakes. He launches a three. Sinks it. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. away the pass. For the bucket. And off the mark. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. And on the shot clock. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Looking for contact. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Shoots from right of the circle. Dickerson brains the three-pointer. Ivy picks up the foul. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Gets the first shot. Charlie 
strike. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Chasing it down. The Cavaliers lead by nine. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They work the perimeter. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Hold on. Let's see that again. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Takes away the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Fake. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. It's stolen. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Number 32 makes the shot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. plays at both ends of the court. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Nice shot. Number 30, pump fakes. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. That 
that spin move is not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Looks at a three. Buried it. Watch this. The Cavaliers have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They rarely make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a court. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tight D here. On the outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. You know, sometimes it's just one word, Dick. Talent. I think the talent is finally starting to show up after they trailed earlier in this ballgame. Well, tell you what, their coach finally got into their faces and got them committed to start to understand about protecting that basketball and getting good shots. And they've responded now and have met that challenge. But they still got a long way to go before they close it out. Up and inside. Eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Another turnover. You're not talking about the turnovers either. Tries for two. The Rams are trailing by 14. Gave it up on the inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket, drops the bucket despite the harm. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. There's a nice block from behind. It blocks the shot. Take a look right here. There it is. She's getting out of here. Thou shalt not enter thy lane. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Fakes a jumper. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to deal with ease, Brad. Can't connect. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Right in the circle. Virginia are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals a pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from right of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Working around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. 
The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Ivy pulls down the offensive board. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two, and he missed. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He's got a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Cavaliers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He sinks it. the rebound up and inside gave it up entry pass in the paint oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me A good shot with a little baby hook. And Teddy didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when they make that turn. Jumps in, perfectly executed. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. On the outside, got some room. They move it into the front court. He puts it in with contact and all. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points, it doesn't matter. 
Now the high screen. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Moving it around the perimeter. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Hey, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Picked out of the air. Top of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting with three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Top of the circle. He swishes it from downtown. We get another look. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. For two. Up and in. the screen again. What did I say? They work the perimeter. Ten seconds to shoot. Stolen. Shot clock is dead. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done to them. I tell you, they always find a way to regroup when everything should get really tough. They regroup and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play! Virginia blows out their opponent. With the difference in these two teams.